Hey, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, the praises, the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Mahava Kakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. The very, very few brothers and sisters listening and learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days of the last days. And Lord willing, you will be edified. We're going to flow with the Spirit. Quick lesson. And it's going to be based on Yahweh Shai, as it usually is. And the script is going to be, blessed are those that have not seen yet have believed. Blessed are those that have not seen yet have believed. We're going to start in John. 19 and 24 but Thomas one of the twelve called Didymus which was one of the disciples later called Apostle was not with them when Yahavashai came in other words when he revealed himself to some of the other disciple, uh, disciples at that time and the other disciples therefore said unto him we have seen the Lord Yahavashai but he said unto them except I see in his hands the print of the nail so he wanted to see the prints, right, of them nails in Yahavashai's hands as proof. And it says, and put my finger into the print of the nails. He actually touched the, the print in Yahavashai's hand, right? And thrust my hand into his side. I will not believe, because remember, he was pierced through his side. So this just shows you there's different levels of faith. This was Thomas. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within. So this is eight days after. He said that, and Thomas with them. Then came Yahabashai, the doors being shut. And stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. So he showed himself, right? Yahabashai showed himself. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger and behold my hands. And reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless but believe in. So this is what Thomas was saying. Don't be don't be um faithless, but believe. As I'm telling you this right now. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my power. So he did believe. Yahweh shall say unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, hast thou believed? Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Read that again. Yahweh shall say unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, right? Thou hast believed, right? Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So, I don't mock Thomas because a lot of people, there's a saying, end up saying, how does it go? They say, Dalton Thomas. What they say, Dalton Thomas. You got you better be careful how you speak about Thomas because Thomas is of the elect. But he was an example of the brothers that are of the elect that may have less faith. Right? That's who it was, Thomas. That's what Thomas represents, those in the faith that have less faith. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishra, check this out. And it says. Where was I? Where was I? And after eight days again, his disciples were within the Thomas with them. When came Yahweh, the doors being shut. We read that already. And many other signs truly did Yahweh in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Yahweh is the Son of the Heavenly Father and believe in you might have life through his name. Right? Believe in you might have life through his name okay so now we went to that because the whole premise of, of the whole premise of this is Thomas said that Yahweh said to Thomas blessed are those that have not seen him but yet believe because really you know that's what is faith that's really what faith is right go to Hebrew you know what there's so much I'm thinking about right now hold on just a minute um, we're going to quickly go to Romans come on Right? Let's go to Romans. Come on. So this is Romans. 
Um. Oh man, these lessons, man. These lessons really, really boost my faith. They're massive faith boosters. All right, let's go to Romans 8 and jump straight to verse. Ah, oh, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Right. We got Romans. Hold on. To 8 and 32. It's Romans 8 and 24. For we are saved by hope. Right? But hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth, what if he yet hope for? Hope which is seen is not hope for what yet a man seeth, what if he yet hope for? Because you can see it. A lot of people say, I've got to see it to believe it, I've got to see it to believe it. No. Right? Thomas, he had a great faith. Thomas had great faith. Alright? So look at so no, no, Thomas didn't have great faith. So like, I'm just, I'm a bit in my head right now. But that is great faith. Seeing and knowing. Not seeing, but still knowing. It's so like, not seeing, but still knowing. Okay. And it says, Brother Kishore. But if we hope for that we see not, dare me with patience wait for it. So there's, there's levels to faith. It's about hoping on what you see not. Go to Hebrews quickly. It's like a bit tongue-tied today. This is Hebrews. Hebrews 11, check this out. Now faith is the substance of things, right? Substance, right? Of things hoped for. Key thing, hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, hoped for. But evidence, evidence is something that is um proof, but proof of things not seen. So yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't prove it to you. Everything we're saying, we can't prove it to you. But that just shows that we have faith. It's not based on tangible. A lot of people they want tangibles, right? This is about being spiritual, and <laughs> this is the thing: those that are spiritual, they're going to be able to receive this. All right. So now we went to that Baba Kishar. We went to John, we went to Romans, we went to another one. What else now? All right. So this is about what we don't see. Oh, let's go to Corinthians. Corinthians. All right. Four. And check this out. 18. While we looked at the things which are seen, the tangibles. And that wouldn't be faith because you can see it, therefore, right? But at the things which are not seen, the spiritual, right? And that's why certain brothers, they're very, they have a high level of discernment because they're spiritual. They're able to see, they're, they're able to look at things that other people can't see. That's why they label us as mad. Because we can see things that other people can't see. For the things which are seen are temporal, right? Including everything you see right here. Most of what you see is, is, is temporal, right? And that's what people invest in. They, they invest in the temporal, tangible, carnal. We invest in the spiritual, unseen, right? And it says, Baba Kishar, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So that's what we'll focus on. We'll focus on the things which are eternal. The things that lead to life and eternal life forever, right? The things that perish not. Okay. So Lord willing, this was edifying. Right? And until the next one. Shadow one. Shadow one.